Okay, so we went to a Japanese capsule hotel. In the inside, it was pretty nice. It's pretty sick, low key. Not low key, high key. It's pretty sick. Super luxury. Sorry. Right, so we went to capsule hotel named First Cabin Asakusa. It is located in Asakusa City, which is near Ginza. And First Cabin itself is a franchise capsule hotel, so you can pretty much see them in all over Japan. So after we got finished paying at the front desk, they gave us these wristbands with the key on it, and then they also gave us this IC card, which you use to get into the rooms, and then the key was so you can unlock your cabin and then lock it whenever you leave because the capsule hotels, they don't really have doors, they have curtains, so you wanna keep your stuff safe and locked away. Yo, we just got our keys. I'm actually kind of surprised. Like, this is gonna be fun because yeah. uh, we actually got a room right next to each other. I got the, so dude, cool. we haven't even pressed the button yet. Touch, we oh. touch. We actually got rooms right next to each other, which I wasn't expecting because I got the first class cabin and you got the business class. He got the first class, I got business class. Get different rooms, but we're about to go look at it right now. So I got the business class and he got first class, which is kind of not fair, but in the business class, I had towel, earbuds for the TV, and two outlets, tissue, and remote control for TV, and you can control your AC and light in there. Okay, so when we got to the hotel, we got there around like 8.30 p.m. Yeah, it was pretty late, it was yeah. pretty late. And we haven't eaten anything, so we were pretty hungry. So we stepped outside to go check out the area, see what it was like. And what did we see? We saw like- We saw many, many restaurants, many convenience stores. Since it's downtown Asakusa, it is very populated. Yeah. And we found Don Quixote and especially Yoshinoya. Yoshinoya, that was super clutch because we were running out of places to go eat because when we finally went outside, it was like after 10? Yeah, it was after 10. I think it was after 10, so a lot of the restaurants were starting to close. It was a take It was take only. only. Yeah. It was you have to eat on the street. Yeah, we ate yeah. on the streets. We found a comfortable spot, but- It was takeout only. It was takeout only. It was takeout only. So we walked out at first. But then we're like, eh, let's just eat on the streets. Might as well, you know, let's enjoy the air of Ginza, you know? We didn't want to take it back to the hotel, so we just ate it on the spot that we found a good place to eat, so we sat down. How does it taste, sir? It tastes amazing. I was starving. I mean, if you guys come to Japan, you guys need to eat gyudon. It's like one of the cheapest way to enjoy Japanese cuisine. Right? Cause you don't buy stuff like this bowl by itself was like what two, three dollars for this like gyudon bro with rice under it. It's a decent size too. I definitely recommend trying this when you come to Japan. Then we head back and went to the onsen. Onsen. To the onsen. Right. Okay, so I gotta whisper, but we just got back from dinner. We're gonna go to the lounge. We're gonna change first. We are headed to the spa. Are you excited? I'm very excited. So this is the basement. And it's apparently the only place where a lot of talk capsules are. Like where we, where we sleep, we're not a lot of talk there because I mean, that's where people sleep. So we have to come down here to the first, to the basement to talk so we can finally speak out loud now. We got a lounge area place to eat, some vending machines for drinks, look, spa, and coin laundry. I don't know why that's behind the same door. Yo, this is super nice. So this is the uh, wash area. Yeah, look what they got. They got, they got soap for you, blow dryer, some cups for water. So we just put our stuff in here. So this is the shower area. If you guys watched the last video, I said you need a shower before you get into the tub. So don't forget to do that. Wash your body first and then get into the tub because that's gross if you don't shower. But yeah, here's a shower room. So if you don't want to get into the onsen, then just take a shower right here. Pretty big shower is actually pretty cool. 
Alright, so this is a GoPro phone. We're inside the bathroom right now, the onsen place. Spa. The spa. Don't worry, we got boxers on. So when we went to the onsen, we went pretty late. It was like 12, 30, 1 a.m. maybe. Yeah, so nobody was there. And plus, there's only like two other people staying at the hotel, so they were already asleep. So we had the whole onsen to ourselves, the whole bottom floor to ourselves. Onsen itself was pretty big and everything was super clean. When I went to other business hotels, some iffy hotels that cost more than this capsule hotel has some like kind of kind of nasty part exactly, and some yeah. onsen place but this place was super clean and they have all the amenities all the equipments that you need yeah uh, like facial wash yeah. shaving cream aftershave q-tip razor hair comb uh razor yeah hair dryer they yeah. had every single they had everything thing. you needed and the lighting was perfect though the lighting was phenomenal mm -hmm. so you don't really need a lot of clothing if you're gonna stay in japan for like three to four days and if you stay in capsule hotel just bring some couple clothing yeah, and perfect place. yeah and yeah. you don't need to bring pajama because they will give you pajamas <laughs> exactly which is pretty dope all right what's your first impression of this capsule hotel i love it honestly it's way better than normal hotel yeah it's way better and that also felt it. amazing one of the coolest thing about this capsule hotel is that they have a cafeteria right next yep. to the front and you can use it anytime you want Exactly, yeah, it's just a lounge, like it's open from in the morning, like and 6, like 6, 6 a.m. and it closes at 11 p.m. But after that, you can use it as a regular lounge. Right now, we to hit the beds. Mm -hmm. What time is it? 2.23 in yeah. the morning. So, as soon as we wake up, we're going to continue our review of this yep. capsule hotel. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get it. Alright, so each floor is separated between male and female, and each floor have like their own washroom. And the washroom itself was super clean, same as the onsen place, and each floor have their like vending machines, right? But the vending machine price was cheaper than outside of the hotel. If you guys don't like to share your bathroom, I mean, I can't really say anything, but, but you know, if you're totally fine with sharing with people, I think that's totally fine. You know? Yeah, and what I noticed was like the capsule area, like where everyone sleeps, uh -huh. is like sound travels very easily so you really got to be quiet mm -hmm. but as soon as you go into the like the washroom area the sound was like it was like buried mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was like a barrier mm -hmm. like you couldn't like hear anything from inside the washroom you can hear anything from outside the washroom they did like a really good job of making sure that the sound doesn't leak from that room which i thought was pretty cool all right so for the rooms i had first class so i had like a little walk area where peace did it but i had a bed you know and then i had a big mirror i had a little table to put my stuff on and I also had a TV with the remote. I had pretty much everything he did, but I just had more space in my cabinet. Instead of being on the side of the bed, it was under the bed. So it gave me more room and it gave me more space to put all my stuff in there. For me, I stayed it in business class. So I didn't have extra room for myself. I didn't have table or big mirror, but I'm 182 centimeter, which is like 5'11", 6 foot tall, yeah, I think right? About six yeah. Feet, yeah, but I can stand up totally fine. And I didn't have like any problem like sleeping wise. So I think it's totally worth it. But the one problem though was that cabinet for me was super small i had a big old backpack wait hold up i had this backpack with me right yeah but i didn't have any place to put it so, wait, so you couldn't put it in your thing so they have like separate place that you can put your suitcase right yeah but this is not a suitcase it's not a big ass suitcase yeah, yeah. i kind of felt bad for using it so i put it like right under not right under like right front of my bed and it barely fits just be careful they do have a suitcase storage but if you carry a big backpack you will probably be struggling or you have to sleep with this bed how was the bed my bed it did the job it did, it did. like i want to say it was the most comfortable but it definitely was yeah. not uncomfortable yeah, i want to say it's like comfortable it was very stiff yeah it to was be very honest. stiff very stiff so, so if you don't like stiff beds mm -hmm. then you probably won't like it, but if, yeah. If I you feel have like, a, if you have like a pain in your lower back, I think yeah. that bed will be pretty challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like stiff. I mean, bed, for us, so. we're like used yeah, to it, yeah, so like so. we didn't mind it. But uh, we were still, I was able to get like the sleep that I needed, mm. even though I only slept for three hours. Three. <laughs> How's your sleep? Fantastic, actually. I love I love stiff bed. So. Oh. So when we woke up in the morning, we headed over to the cafe. You know, the coffee was like really good. I like my coffee mm -hmm. and the price wasn't that bad. And you get a discount if you stay at the hotel. It was like a 20% discount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was pretty good. Uh, 
Alright guys. Alright guys, so just checked out in the hotel. Me and Peace are gonna head back to the studio and just talk about how we felt about this place. So let's go. Alright, so overall, I really like the state. I love it. Yeah. I totally love it. And if I'm staying in some countryside of Japan and if I need to stay there, I will not use business hotel. No, probably. I'm probably gonna start staying at capsule hotels from mm -hmm. now on. And the first, oh wait, in the first cabin, they have it Hokkaido and Okinawa too. Ooh. So they cover all of Japan. Yeah, so like my first time staying in a capsule hotel, was it yours? Yes, my first yeah, time. Yeah, it was too. both of our first time staying. How, how would you rate it? I'll, out of 10. Not gonna lie, 9.5 out of 10. 9.5? 9.5. They had everything. If they wanna get 10 out of 10, I need a sauna. Sauna? I love sauna and they didn't have it, but still okay. Still okay. I feel that, yeah. Mine would be pretty much, yeah, about the same, like 9, 9.5 out of 10 mm. because everything was beautiful and I really loved how there was nobody staying there, really. Maybe if there was more people staying, it probably would have been lower just because of like the how much the sound travels. Yeah. But since there wasn't that many people, my mm. stay, like my uh, experience was really good and 9 out of 10, I think that extra star would probably have been starbucks being delivered to my room or something i don't know but yeah that's okay, it for today's yeah. video thank you guys so much for watching please like that video if you like this video subscribe to the channel if you like our content and we'll see you in the next video